Hello guys, this is Oxman, gonna bring you another Armor 2 editing video. This is the Mission Editing Newbie FAQ from Armorholic. And uh, today we are going to walk through the different ammo and weapons we have left. So um, basically in the previous guide I made it through this. So if you are wondering any things in this little uh, area here, you should go back and check my other video. The playlist shows three videos right now and four with this. So how to make the AI use artillery, how to give the units custom gear, retrieve a list of magazines appropriate for a certain weapon, simple and basic artillery without scripts and trigger a flare. That's what we have to do today. So we'll start with how to make the AI use artillery. So click that. And basically, these guys have made it. So here, kill switch made an example. And you can actually d download that test ground rockets RT. It's everything is explained, but I'll explain what it does and um, how it is. So basically, this RTF execute template mission is basically a a um, a function uh, created by BIS, and um, that's RT for you. So um, basically, everything that is Required is these four um, params. Immediate, HE. Immediate, of course, is what kind of mission. Uh, immediate is oh, HE <laughs> is the type of ammo. Five is per in or interval, and 120 is the rounds. So it actually says it here. That means fire 120 HE rockets with five second intervals. So um, basically, we'll go into the game and check that out. Right, so we're in the game, and these three, these things are what's acquired. First of all, we've made a BM21 Grad artillery, and they've added magazines to it. I'm not sure if that's required, but um, there you have it. Basically, uh, there's a um, artillery module. It's been called Rocket Underscore Alt, and it's been synchronized with the group leader of the BM21s. So basically, this is now a artillery piece called rocket artillery or rocket underscore RT and in this there's a in, its, in it that defines a template my HE template is then in brackets immediate HE 5 and 120 so selection 0 selection 1 selection 2 selection 3 so we'll remember that we'll go into the trigger you can either use any trigger you know uh, blue for activated or you know anything that you want and here is the good stuff so basically look at this first that's the artillery being called so rocket RT the pieces that we need the target get market post target because we have a marker that is uh, well named target if you only had a object object for example a you know vehicle you'd uh, get post target um, and then my AG template which is the template we've already defined so it calls this RTF execute template mission so that's all you need this after that is hint it's basically a hint which you don't really need it's just optional hint format fire mission in progress this battle will fire selection um, three rockets one rocket every selection two seconds so basically um these percent one means selection <coughs> or yeah selection one and selection two actually in this little array here so um selection one is after this and it says my h e template select three so the third selection in my h e template is gonna be called here and then the second one here is gonna be the selection 2 in my AG template. We can go already go back to that and check what that is. So my AG template. So the second one is not there. That's 1. So second one is 5. So seconds is 5. And rounds is 120 because the selection is 3rd. So uh, that's basically how you use it. If we go into the game, they are going to start shooting if you use Radio Charlie. But I'm not going to show you that because that takes a lot of time and <laughs> that's pretty unnecessary you have to trust me it does work so um, next is how to 
do, 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 how to give the units custom gear. So basically what I've added now is a script here, which is called unit. I'll double click that. It's called unit SQF. And basically this is the most you know standard of it. Um, first of all, I'll define the unit by the select zero. It's going to be called like, like this. No is this or whatever you want. If you have a unit, say um, if we have uh, four guys, they're called S1, S2, S3, S4. You can do that. Or if you have, say, um, a group, you do this. X, I can BM, unit, SQF. Um, if it's a group, we need to do this. So that. For each unit, group, this. Or, if you have named the group, you have named alpha. But, that's been defined many times in my scripts before, so check my other videos. So, uh, all we need to do now is just this. And remove that. And that. So, that's how you call it. And, um, first, it does, uh, first thing it does is remove all weapons for that unit. And then it adds a M16A2. And then adds a magazine 30 standing. But there's another way of adding weapons. You don't want to spam this line like five times. Just not worth it. So we can, what we can do is basically um, do um, this. Dun 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 dun. So we just have to copy that. And... Um, do this for each one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's how you do it. So now I'm basically added twelve start thirty standing rounds. So um, we're gonna check how that looks in the game. Right, we're in the game and we are going to call it using this line and we'll go into the game and just see how uh, this works. It basically adds 12 standing rounds into your M16A2 which I've added using a script. So that's how you make custom gear. Now we're just waiting for the receiving part and uh, we'll uh, shoot some. So basically here you have it, the M16A2. Press G and here you have it, 12 standing rounds. So we can shoot those if we reload it. <laughs> So that's working. So uh, the next part is retrieve a list of magazines appropriate for a certain weapon. And basically what a person did for this was so when a unit ran out of ammo, he um he can just he gets two uh clips or he gets a clip when he runs out of ammo. Uh basically this guy he tried to um make a unit, you know, a um well guy who actually don't have 12 rounds if or 12 clips if the player then would kill him he'd have 12 new clips and he tried to avoid that so basically only added two clips to a unit and then every time it ran out it gave a new one so he would the player wouldn't be able to loot enemy units so basically the script here is down here and thanks to Wigan for doing that and um, help of Bon so um, we'll go into the game it's already been defined in gear SQF and um, it's just a, co a clean of copy and paste so all credit to Wigam and Bon uh, on the Bohemian forums and uh, let's go and see how that works in the game right so running into the game we'll um, start receiving and um, when we go into it I'll just start firing and every time I lose uh, when I am at zero at magazine I'll get one so basically just look for the ammo and you'll see when it goes down you're gonna get a new one so I basically changed the script also in uh, outside the unit so I don't have to fire 12 magazines that would just take time so let's just shoot speed it up a little bit and now you'll see bam and we got a new one just like that There you go. 
and it checks it every 10 seconds. So that's basically what happens. Um, exactly how you do it. Right now, I am going to show you another little thing, which is the triggers for how to make artillery without scripts. So I made it a radio trigger. One round HE. Click on the map to fire art artillery. Okay, yeah. Copy paste that. So um, here we go. Press there. And we should get our artillery round hitting that soon. Maybe I have to double click. One sec. There you go. Took some time, but it did land. So there it is. Um, you can, of course, press a few more times, I believe. Yeah, we could. It's a bit um, easy mode because you could do how much you want. It's just a simple script. And, uh, you know, you could um, also remove it, but don't need, really need to go into that. If you have questions related to all this, just uh, comment below and we'll go to it, through it. So that's basically the, the um, gear script and how to get a trigger firing artillery. So let's go out of here and we'll check how that trigger works. That is the wrong trigger. There it is. So here it is what it does. So basically on map single click it gives you a new position um, and adds it 20 altitude. So basically it gets a position out of your map click and then creates a well, a G shell right on top. So um, that's exactly what you do. Of course there's some uh, spelling mistakes there. So that's how you do it. And um, S.G. Jackson on the Bohemian forums did this and um, I think it was a new to this game, so he was pretty creative with doing this. So um, thanks for him for giving us this. Uh, I did not use this personally because I think it is a bit overpowered for the player to call in these many rounds. But if you want to have it, <laughs> go ahead. So uh, I'll put put this in the description below. That way you can copy paste it, and um, it's easy for you to use it. I will also add an example mission for all this, so don't worry about finding how to do this without using my HD upload. So let's go and check out the last part. Right, so the last part is trigger a flare. So now we have covered all this uh, now, uh, how to make the AI use artillery. We use that in my HD template, how to get the unit's cost and gear in the unit SQF. Retrieve a list of magazines and appropriate for a second weapon. Simple and basic artillery without scripts, we just covered. So last part is trigger a flare. I've made a script myself for this because I do not think um, this script is useful. Uh, basically, it's SQS and SQS is old stuff. Uh, I don't use that. Uh, basically, we're going to do exactly this or kind of this, but in an SQF. So what I've done is basically flat SQF. I made uh, this select zero. So this is going to be called using um, a K this no. And then a position, say a um, tuck, and exact VM, and then the script flyer SQF, and that's how you do it. So the area is selection zero. It's tuck, and it's an object, so it's going to be that position of that object. Variable which is zero, and while variable is less than ten, it's going to trigger flare. So every time it triggers a flare, this is going to add another. Uh, add one to that variable so it's going to count upwards every time it uses a flare and then it also will do a hint format which basically says number of flares have been triggered and that's the variable of course so sleep 10 so it does this every 10 seconds we can change this to five seconds if we want so there you go and that's basically a script which well creates a flare 10 times in with an interval of five seconds. You can remove this whole hint format if you don't want spam of stuff happening. And you can also do this, you know, you can do it, say, if variable is less than three, if you want to have two, you can just put two. If you want three, you can do ten. Or just <laughs> change the script how much you want. Um, basically creates a white. Let's uh, change this to yellow. And there you go. Creates a vehicle on the area. Uh, position which is defined here 
and 150 meters up in the air. So let's go into the game and check how that looks. Right, we're in the game. It's being called like this. Flare as Tuck, XFV and Flare as QF. It's a H invisible named Tuck. And uh, let's go and check how it works. So basically this will create a um, Flare 150 meters up in the air five every five seconds, ten times. So let's wait for this receiving and we'll get right to it using a radio trigger. So let's do that. Trigger flare. One flare has been triggered. Make a C. Two flares. And let's just keep on speeding up. And now you can see there's a lot of flares and there's a lot of light. Now that's <laughs> a bit too much, but eight flares, nine flares, ten flares. And now it stopped. So now all the flares are just falling down. And there you go. Ten flares have been fired, and that's exactly how you do it. So, um, well, that has been it for this part of the editing FAQ series. Um, if you have questions, direct them below. There will be comment sections where you can just comment if you have questions related to this type of editing and um, weapons. If you have other questions, you can ask about that as well. I will be glad to help you guys if you need it. So, um, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe, of course. That helps me quite a lot. And um, if you do appreciate the videos, make sure you do so.